spider out block. Uh, I think it was just us trying to create a uh, space um, for Africans. And um, there's this amazing TED talk where someone talks about the dangers of a single African narrative. And we are six different Africans with six different ways of expressing our Africanness. So we thought we have a common interest in creating a space for Africans, a dynamic space for Africans. So we thought, why don't we get together and make this amazing blog where we express different, um, how different it is to be African. It's not a single um, way of defining it. So we thought, why don't we do that? part of my identity is being African and I feel like it's it's a huge part of my identity for several reasons. I mean first of all I'm living in the continent so that's gonna directly impact everything I do um, on a like a political historical level things like visas how we relate to other people um, the history of colonization and its remnants now I mean where we're in Grahamstown and I'm surrounded by a lot of era buildings. That's something that figures into my identity. Having grown up in a sort of Western Eurocentric environment, so I didn't get the opportunity to learn my mother tongue either from my mom or dad. I didn't get a chance to learn all my cultural customs and traditions, so I feel a little bit lost culturally, linguistically, and I'm like, I am African by the mere fact that I'm black. So in my personal narrative, I recited the, um, I don't know if it's a song from a Spike Lee film, but it goes, I'm black y'all, I'm black y'all, and I'm blackity black, and I'm black y'all. So I'm going, yes, yes, yes. And I just, it resonated with me because I felt that my link, no matter what, you can't take it away from me, you can't judge it, you can't say, oh, she's this level of Africa. By the mere fact of me being black, I felt like Africa was something I could claim. We call her the spirit lady. She's <laughs> very within. I can start to feel that whatever I am is, 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 is so enough um, and, and so complete just the way that it is. It's a big part of transforming the black mind, and the black psyche. Um, without going into conversations about black consciousness and trying to get deep, it's, it's just about the way we see ourselves and how we understand our role in existence in the world. Africa itself is my, uh, multi-dimensional. Like if you, people always like make these jokes. Like when my family comes from Congo, they're like, "Well, South Africa is not Africa, Africa, because it's so modern." They're like when you go higher up, it's more Africa, because it's more rural, less developed infrastructure is not as here. So then, like, what is authentic? Authentic does authentic Africa mean rural Africa, not developed? I beg to differ. So then you can't exactly come up with one authentic identity. Like I said, Africa has so many countries, like which country embodies the true Africanness?